Okay, so if you ever link between Excel workbooks, then you need to watch this video because there's a chance you might have A, sent the wrong numbers previously or B, accidentally sent confidential information without even realizing it. This is a really critical issue and you need to be aware of how Excel handles external links. So if you're ready, let's get started. Right, here we are in Excel and we have two workbooks. We have the lookup workbook and the source data workbook. The lookup workbook is on the left and the source data workbook is on the right. I'm going to start by creating an X lookup function to look up a value from the other workbook. So equals X lookup, open bracket, and I want to look up the value in cell C2. I'm going to look that up from cell A2 to A9 in the other workbook and return the values from B2 to B9. I'll close that bracket and press return. So that now calculates as 50,000. We have a link across Excel workbooks. And in our drop down, if we change that value, our number changes as well. Okay, let's set that to header of 60,000. I'm going to save my workbook. I'm now going to close my source data workbook. I don't want to save any changes on that. So that just leaves us with our lookup workbook. Now, what happens if we change the values? Well, our lookup formula still works. It looks up into that other workbook. So what happens if we now delete that workbook? That source data workbook is no longer there. What's going to happen to our formula? Well, it still updates, it still works. Now, is this because they were previously open in the same session? Well, let me save this and close it. So that workbook is now closed. We'll come back and open up our lookup.xlsx workbook. Okay, that's now opened up. It asks me if I want to update links. I'm going to click update. Right, what's going to happen? Because that file is no longer there. I'm going to change this to Evelyn. It still keeps updating those values, even though that workbook is no longer there. So how does this work and why does it happen? I'm going to close that workbook. I won't save any changes. And now I'm going to copy this workbook and save it with a .zip extension. So I come down to rename, change that to .zip. Now, when we drill into this Excel workbook, we have this folder called external links. And in there, there's a file called external link.xml. I'm going to double click on that. And that now opens up this file in Edge. And you can see that it's an XML file, but it contains all of those values that we previously linked to. So you can see that Heather has a value of 60. Christine has a value of 50. So Excel has kept a cache of all the cells that we linked to in our X lookup formula. Now this isn't just an issue with X lookup, it happens with any formulas where we use these external links. So what this means is that we might have accidentally shared a file and that file has embedded in it confidential information. It also means that even though we've deleted a file, we might still be looking up values from that file and they might not be the values that we want. So how can we stop this from happening? Well, let's come back to our Excel workbook. Right, so over here, I'm going to click update. So that's going to update those links. But the key thing is that I want to come to file, down to options. Then in the advanced section, I'll scroll down almost all the way to the bottom. And then here we have an option called save external link values. I'll uncheck that and click OK. So now what happens? I change my value, it still updates, but now when I close this workbook, I'll save those changes. And now I'm going to reopen this workbook. So it asks us again if we want to update, but when we change these values, you can see it now returns NA because those values are no longer cached inside our workbook. So that's it. That's how we might accidentally send a file with the wrong values because we don't even know that we've deleted a previous file 
or we might have shared confidential information. So if you do use external links, take extra care to make sure you understand what's happening under the hood of Excel. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.